Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry I haven't done a video for a while. It's been Christmas and chaos and all sorts of things. Um, but as you can see, we've been quite busy here and we have some new quails. These are ex-battery quails and we have rescued them and built them a new home. And I'm gonna show you in this video exactly how we did it. If you watched our last video about when we looked after all of my friend's animals at her farm, you'll know just how much we've loved looking after the goats and the chickens and the cat. And we were really sad when we had to give them all back. Um, and so when we got home, we decided that what we needed was some quails. And I found some ex-battery quails on Facebook and uh, we organised to go and collect them. But before we did that, we had to build them a house. We started by making two box frames that sit next to each other, one for the house and one for the run outside. We all chipped in to build the house, which features recycled roof insulation and rat proof flooring. My very talented husband added the walls and made a small door for the front and two bigger doors for the back so we can easily clean inside the quail house. And of course, I painted it pink. Let me take you on a tour. See my highly impractical pretty doorknobs. So in the quail house we have food and water as well as a basket of straw to snuggle up in on cold winter nights. You can see the front door which leads to the outside space and a hand sewn rug made by my seven year old son. I should have been an estate agent. Next we made the run. We stapled very strong rat-proof mesh to five of the sides, including the bottom, leaving the side that would be attached to the house clear. Rats can be an issue with quails and are often an issue here in the wilds of Kent. And of course, we painted it pink too. Finally, it was time to get the birds and what a mission that was. We drove for hours in the dark to pick up our quails and it was quite an adventure when the birds got out in the car and sat on the car seat with the children. And here they are, seeing the outside for the first time ever. The children have named them Mr Beast, Papa Jake, Iggy, Pops, and Gertrude. We chose quails and not chickens at the moment because our garden's quite small and uh, in the UK we're all in flock down. So they need to be birds that can be kept under cover. So we've built a run and a house where they can go at night. And then in the summer, we are planning to build a much bigger space for them to run around where I can plant things and they can scurry around in the, in the undergrowth. We'll make another video for that one, I'm sure. Three things we've learned so far. Because our quails were ex-battery farm birds, they had no spatial awareness and now realise they have wings and can fly. Quails need more protein in their diet than chickens. Quails can tolerate cold winter conditions even below freezing. Ours have a nice warm house to stay in at night. Since we have had them, we have watched our quails grow healthier and stronger and they really are a joy to have.
thank you for watching this video i am focusing on doing lots more for next year i have a plan it's gonna happen so i will see you very soon bye